Welcome back to this series of Light Reading Conversations. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading, and I am joined now by Mike Thompson, Vice President and Global Network Automation Practice Leader for Nokia. Mike, thanks for joining us today. Thanks a lot, Terry. We are uh, here to discuss the operator benefits from automation of IP networks. Uh, in that vein, uh, a recent study conducted by Analysis Mason quantified benefits of IP network automation for CSPs. Uh, in areas like service fulfillment, network lifecycle management, and service assurance. Uh, the study claims significant cost savings driven by a reduction in labor and manual errors. What benefits are you seeing with the operators that you work with? So we're really seeing our operators their first and foremost benefit is a reduction of OPEX and optimizing their workforce. They're doing okay. a lot of work to improve operational accuracy. And a lot of errors are actually introduced through humans as they go through maintenance windows, the best of intentions. Often people are tired, they're running out of time. They make small mistakes that can have big rippling impacts as well. So sure. al allowing automated mops, automated provisioning of services reduces a lot of those human errors. Uh, there's a lot of uh, time that's spent in launching a new service. I think most service providers have always struggled with the OSS time lag of launching a new service. So automating that has really reduced that time to revenue piece. And then we're seeing a big time in just provisioning services as they roll out new pieces, uh, offerings to their customers, the faster they can get through those steps and automating it, it creates a much uh, better experience for their customers and reduces a lot of cost there. And then we're seeing a reduction in network and service outages with better coordinated IP and optical, better visibility, better assurances they get in that space. And then an overall reduction in costs as they go through these steps. And the real golden benefit here is that a lot of staff are freeing up their time to focus on things like transformation projects that allow them to build a better network that's more resilient and then spend time on automating all those tasks they were traditionally doing manually. So, so pushing them over to, to activities that really add more value to the business as opposed to the basic maintenance that, that A maybe. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So it strikes me that um, uh, many of these, these upgrades or uh, uh, buildups can um, often be justified through, through cost savings. Say a bit more about the financial benefits that, that you're seeing with regard to network automation. So we worked with Analysis Mason and they went out and interviewed um, five different key customers, got 60 data points. So it's a very uh, detailed study of the benefits of time savings. And they looked at it in the area of service fulfillment, network lifecycle, and network and service assurance. Overall, they saw a 65% reduction, 65 reduction in cost avoidance. Very significant. Wow. If you drill into service fulfillment, it was 86% reduction. In the area of network lifecycle, which is actually the biggest area that service providers are spending a lot of their time, it was 69% of their costs, they saw a 65% reduction. And then the area of network and service assurance, they saw a 50% reduction. So these are very tangible quantifiable numbers um, that help support the benefits I talked about earlier. I, I dare say, I mean, th those are those are thresholds that are very likely to get the, the CFO's attention real quickly. Absolutely. Um, how do your customers leverage Nokia's network services platform to achieve these savings and automation improvements? So they really look at uh, two different ways um, they can do this. Uh, so operators, we sell network services platform with a number of different key features. Uh, sometimes we're looking at areas of network programming, network operations, and then network control and orchestration. So across that space, um, we have different feature packs and customers can buy this if they have sophisticated programming skills, on a do-it-yourself approach. Uh, we also have a user community that supports this, development portals and tools, and then developer support. 
And then we also have customers that are looking for more of a turnkey. Um, what's driving them is, is getting those business outcome metrics that I talked about before. And maybe their staff is so focused on the manual side, they don't have enough programming skills to do the implementation, or they get lost very often in the science project of building tools and projects, but can never actually get to the outcome to see the result. So in this case, we've developed a use case catalog. And I, I like to use the analogy of kind of going to Home Depot or, or hiring a contractor to build your kitchen. If you have a project in your house and you know exactly what you're going to do, you go to Home Depot and buy the tools, set it up. It's pretty basic um, and a lot of really savvy network automation engineers want to embrace DevOps and go down that path. If you're looking at the other piece, you know you need to build a, a great kitchen. You, you have expectations of what it should look like. You definitely have expectations on what you want from a results. So that's where we go out and build the best tools in this space, uh, work around a, a number of preset use cases. We have 41 predefined use cases. So we're not just looking at the tool, we're looking at what it needs to be implemented and transformed, how it has to integrate into the customer network. And then we work across each one of those pieces to make sure we are, you know, to use the analogy of the kitchen, build the best cabinets pick the best appliances, integrate that in with the right finishing. So you were really delivering the results the customers are looking for in that space. Very good. Mike, in closing, uh, where, where can our viewers go if they want to learn more about this? Um, so we're putting together a, a seminar that's upcoming. So we'll have some additional information. Uh, we'll go deeper dive into um, the benefits here and then some of the tools. Uh, we also have, uh, I'd encourage anyone that's working with Nokia to reach out to your sales team. Uh, we can work through that. Um, but there's a, a lot of benefits we can have in this space as we work together um, to make sure that our customers are seeing the real value in this space. Excellent. Um, Mike, thanks for the, the fresh insights on network automation. Appreciate you joining us today. Absolutely. It was great uh, talking. Thank you. We've been talking with Mike Thompson of Nokia. This has been Terry Sweeney with Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this chat. We'll see you next time.